Hello viewers, welcome back to Mega Nemesis from the Tuna V2 I'm Shadow Fang. So uh, we got an event over here. So what kind of thing will happen to us now? Let's celebrate if we have rescue. Everyone, cheers! 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 This is what I wish to say, but why is it roasted fish party? <laughs> Well, this is the only food I had on my hand, man. I'm glad that I fished up so much for the dessert supply. I understand what you're saying, and I also understand that fish is the most abundant traditional resource in the area. But for me, this is basically cannibalism, and these freshwater fish at that. Oh yeah, right. Ah oh, man, I'm sorry, Umio. Don't fret, Umio. Wasn't me here, yeah. I get some kind of krill in a little bit. Krill? Hmm. Well, perhaps I will party. I'm sorry too, Umio. We wanted to celebrate your return, but we didn't really know how to prepare anything very elaborate. I can't make simple sweet, but when it comes to meal, it's not really my strong suit. It's nothing you need to apologize for, Gearzy. The, ge the gesture is more than enough for me. Thank you. By the way, what do you to usually eat? I can't imagine there are so many other things available aside from canon food. When necessary, we do neutralize our canon food. But normally, Uzume prepare meal with us she can find out there. Granted, they're simply dishes of course, and we're generally season in a heat the gathered ingredient to create our meals. Oh, you guys should have your own survival reali reality show or morph or something. So... I have ever eaten luxus luxus or snacks or frogs before. Ah, oh my god gosh. Like seriously no freaking way Nepsi. Ew slimy little frog legs. Totally gross. Uzume. Language. <laughs> Yeah, no way in hell I'll eat one of those ugly bastards. Ah, uh, it would be really cool if you were able to chow down on some erotic glove like that. Oh, well... C cool Do you mean I could be cool? I could be cool? Huh? Udum is kinda cute getting excited about being cool. Um, duh! I see. So people think you're cool if you can eat frog. Maybe I'll try it out. Wait, don't get tricked, Uzume. Neptune, you gotta stop saying weird things like that to people. It's not very nice. Sorry, Nepier. I couldn't help it. Uzume, before I forgot, the baby bug gave this me as a gift for helping them. Would you like to take some? Ew, those are shit take mushrooms! They're delicious if you roast them on a screwer and the sight of the obviously devouring them would be, would be quite delightful. Nah, -uh, no, no freaking way. I don't care what anyone says. I'm never eating those things. Dear me, you just stay for shit take mushroom is incredibly worrisome. You don't eat shit with me? I can't. I can't stand the taste of text or texture. It's truly a shame. They are very convenient. She take mushroom are exquisite roasted or boiled and they perform wonderful in soup stock. Soup stock? I wouldn't touch one of them ten foot pole. It made me of a sheer crystal. I'm not eating them. Uh 
Well, anyway, now that you're noticing, I suppose it's time we explain what actually transpired here in this nation. Additionally, I ex extend my deepest gratitude to you both for saving me. Now, could you tell me what just happened both to come to this city? So, yeah, that's what we're in a bit of a fine bit. I see. I begin to make sense of your unique predicament. So, you come here from another continent or perhaps have borrowed your way of an underground nation or you're delusional. I can construct several different theories, but I believe the most probably is you both come from another dimension. Ah, dang it, I hate to say it, but yeah, I mean, I guess we could have managed to ven venture to another dimension yet again. Yet again? May I presume that both of you have this before? Journey to an other dimension, I mean, yeah, it happened in River 3. Neptune, Neptune was the first transported, then Neptune was transported and falling onto Noir. I still remember that. Yep, you're right, on the money, uh, my fishy friend, man, we went through a lot of trouble to get back home last time, too. I hate the, I hate dimension hopping. Time gets all wacky, we were gone for years, but ba back home only for a few days had passed. Ridiculous. Ah, I believe I understand now. So how we get home, big sis? If... Where we were all really in another dimension, we probably can't even contact his war. Chin up, Deb Jr. At least we know where we are now. That's pretty good. If we know where we are, then all we got to do is find out the path from here to, to home is. But how do we figure out what a path like that even looks like? Umio, are monsters here the only ones here? Maybe there's another people that have just gone into hiding somewhere very far away. Now that I think about it, did none of the CPU from the other nations survive? Where are they? I apologize, but as far as I know, the only CPU that exists is Uzume. There used to be a people here too, right? There are still traces of them left on the internet. Indeed, they existed a long time ago without knowledge of their existence. I would not thought of it as a human. However, when I was born, it the, this world was already in the state of desolation and ruin. That's why I'm quite surprised to meet you both. So does me actually know why the, the end is up in this continent, Uzume states that the giant, as she, uh, she called it, is the direct reason, but I believe an even greater cause exists. Hmm. Would, would you take a look at this? It's some data I found, although it's a little broken. Hmm. This appears to be a journal. The tech is buggy here and there and there. But it truly is quite fascinating. Umiya, I'd like to investigate more about what happened in this world. My abilities might not be great, but allow me to help. Me uncover information related to the safety and preservation of this world. Thank you very much. Incident Uzume has been rather quiet for some time now. Oh, she's quiet because she's sleeping. No wonder. She appears to be deep sleep. This is unsurprising considering she was already exhausted before devouring that large meal. Oh, I'm sorry for keeping you both, both up just to talk. I'm sure you're both very tired as well. Please, it's no trouble at all. Actually, Obiyo, there's something I want to ask you about Uzume. So I noticed Uzu's personality and speech kinda changed randomly. 
once in a while. What the heck is up with that? She is pushing herself. Pushing herself? Ordinarily, she was a girl with a cheerful disposition, much like when she transformed. What? Really? Even if she acted carefree, she has a ve very earnest. She may even believe that she, as she was, we could not really lay on her in the crumbling world. As she confirmed a life of survival and combat, personality and speech slowly changed. To believe what the man was like, like that in the past. That's really she's so hung up on the side of being cool, huh? There must be some part of the subconscious that relates being cool to being reliable. But what personality is not something you can change easily. As Uzebe has already been prone with daydreams, she often returned to her true self during those things times. Yeah. Oh yeah, you already noticed that. Now that it's quite late, we can speak of that next step while we in this morning. I'm sure you're both tired, so please get some rest. Yes, you're right. I'm really exhausted from fighting today. Good night, Emil. Thanks for just speaking with us. Night, see you in the morning. Yes, good night. Pleasant dream to you both. Oh, it's done! Next station! Suddenly, starting again today is Snip Station! With me, your host, Neptune. Today, I'm joined by me, Uno Uzume Tunoboshi, with an awesome broadcast just for you. Man, I'm glad we were able to save Umio's safety. Yeah, I was able to defeat that mutt! Too, but because I'm so cool Well, let's forget about whatever Uzume is cool or not for now What? <laughs> Since we're here, it's... let's try acting our next trivia thingy me. Take it away Uzume after saving Umiyo, what await Nipsey in in Co was another type of hell. Greed and violence settled in after destruction, a city of platform zero created after 100 years of war. If you throw vice thermismly, corruption and chaos in the blender to get zero dimension. New next episode, Swirl, we'll have to follow Nepsi and us into hell. Well, that wasn't really an episode preview in the slightest, but oh well, bye bye. That was funny, forget what Uzum is cool or not. What? <laughs> that was funny. Oh, Nep Jr., I wanna eat pudding. Goodness, what should I do? There ain't any pudding around, and even if I want to make some, we don't have the ingredients. Pudding! What's going on here? I can hear you guys from outside. Greetings, Nepsi. is lively as usual, I see. Oh, Uzume, Umio, we have a bit of a problem. Pudding! If I don't have pudding, I'll die. Pudding! And there's our problem. Ah, I understand. Unfortunately, unless we have so somehow it makes us ourselves, we won't find any. No, 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 booty! Just like a kid, Neptune. Dear me, I, I'm finding it difficult to tell which was actually the older sister. It may be Nepsi's influence, but now I want to try eating some pudding. Right, you want to eat pudding? Too, right, to me. The bitter sweet taste of caramel sauce poured in a nice version of cold, refreshing custard pudding. Custard pudding. Custard. 
always when I had that one before. Even one day without it causes the Neptune to feel all sentimental. Custard pudding, huh? That green tea pudding and chocolate pudding are great too. Maybe we can find some, some ingredients in some abandoned grocery store nearby. If they have some piece of food, then we'll be even more super ultra lucky, right? If you find some food, then we would do want to make yummy sweet and treat all the beautiful friends. Oh, it's been quite a while since I made some. How about you make a whole bunch of different, different kinds of pudding and we have a big pudding together? Oh, when I put it back, it's a short term for pudding party. It doesn't sound like ultra mega fun. I look like I sound like a complete bastard in that one. <laughs> so your pudding party might be kind of tight. So maybe we could try it out or whatever. But the problem is the ingredient. We need eggs and milk, right? With the world in this state, I don't think we're gonna find either. Wait, we might actually have some eggs. Really? There? Who are you staying at? <laughs> I think I know why. Why are you staring in my direction? <laughs> I think I know what's gonna happen. Hey, Nesty, do you think you can make pudding out of fish eggs too? <laughs> fish eggs? Fish pudding? Wow, this might be the whole new bit of pudding in our plates here. This need to happen for science. Just a moment, you two. I want I want you to calm down first. No matter how you look, I am a male fish. Even if you were to cut my stomach open, you wouldn't find it what you were looking for. <laughs> Darn. Phew, until today I have never been thanked. My parents forgive bringing me to this world as a male. <laughs> you have your share of troubles too, don't you, Mio? Alright then, Nepsi, it's still possible there are some ingredients left some somewhere. Let's go search for them. You're right. Oh, even if you only find enough, ingredient for one spoonful is worth, worth it. And they're gone. That's the... that they, they are. Converse. There's no converse in Uzume. I'm kinda hungry. I'd like to eat something good. Then as a thing for the care care for us, we'll cook something for you, Uzume. Whoa, really? Sweet! Carving anything in particular. I definitely got some protein before. I fight the giant. I have some meat too, please. Nepgain, I will whip up the best me meat dishes we can think of. Sorry for the wait, Uzume. Here, this is some really steak. Oh man, so this is some really steak. I've heard about how delicious they were, but this is my first time eating one. Munch, munch, munch. This is great. It's super delicious. I'm glad you like it. Next is my dish. It's a special nep nep style katsu ball. Holy cow! This is a katsu ball of my freaking dreams. Nom nom nom. Wow, this is such a great blend of eggs and katsu flavors. I didn't know you were such a genius in the kitchen, Nepsi. Ah, uh, you're making me blush. It was worth having Nep Gear teach me how to make even though there was a quite a bit of a thrill and error. I guess I can taste it how seasoning could use. Some minor trick but it's still delicious. I feel like I eat this tomorrow. I have the strength to take out that giant, Nepsi. Please recreate this dish for me tomorrow. Um, about that. Hmm? What's wrong? Er, um, the fact of the matter is, uh, actually we used up all the supplies to make this. 
everything in um, as a black sun. <laughs> Markers, there are two cups of out edible. But, I didn't quite get that. I guess not good to anyone left. Oh, you're back. Tim Junior, I found some eggs. What? Huh? I got milk and sugar too. I think we're all set for now. How? What? You two who's in it? There were actually some monster predators nearby who just opened up a shop. Not only that, but everything here is 100% organic and fresh. This feels just a little too convenient. Well, as long as they have the food we can eat, I think it's fine at this point. Let's start whipping up this pudding right away, Gyozi. Yeah. I'll just be hang out with the wire. They work their magic, you know. Considering we've never had a chat to sit and have uh, have a talk together, this may be a perfect opportunity to defend our friendship. Huh? Where's that coming from? Ah, sincere apologies, Tepsi. It appears to be called from one of my friends. Please excuse me for a moment. There's, there she goes. Huh. <laughs> now I got nothing to do while I wait for pudding. Oh well, they say hunger is the best ingredient. I think I'll take a walk to get my blood flowing. Whoa, there's Umio. Let's take Umio first. Umio looked like he'd grow legs as a matured and eventually become a frog. But how is he re he's in reality? A leg, Bob Umio? I can't even imagine it. Can you show it to me? I don't know where you're on, but that can possibly be true. He's a damn fish! You're right, that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> that was funny. What's with that body? What are those creepy legs? You're being quite rude, Nipsey. Look how beautiful these legs are. La 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 la. That was weird. Legs? His legs? Please, anything but those legs. Oh, they're only dreaming. It looks like they're having some same dream, but what did they mean by his legs? Neptune. Alright, the pudding's finished. Neptune, the pudding's done. Sorry for about that, Nepsi. We made way too much. It took us quite a while. Whoa, why are there baby bugs? Oh, good job, you two. Thank you for your hard work. Oh, it's Miss Uzume. What's going on here? I had some kills before you guys were done, so I took a walk and, and ran into these baby bugs. I thought eating delicious sweet together with everyone makes them even more scrumptious. So I invited them over. Nice idea, NFC. We used all the ingredients we have and bought. We made way too much. Now I'm ready. I'm really hungry too. I can't wait for the pudding. I will boil some, uh, some tea then. I'm surrounded by my by my spain. But let's treat others to a tea party. Oh, I'm so stuffed. I just can't get a started up unless I have a pudding a day. <laughs> you really do love your pudding, don't ya? The tea you made for us was really delicious, Omeo. What kind of tea is this? Thank, thank you. If we order ordinary blend, I'm a bit of the husband when it comes to tea. I can give you some, some of this tea blend if you like. Really? Thank you. Looks like a side, you really a, are a gentleman, Omeo. I think he's probably handsome on the outside too, you know? 
that's right, Uzume. Had that sort of a style sense. Now that our tea party is winding down, I would like to have some meeting discussion or future strategies if you were all willing. I don't mind. I'm super down. My motivation jug is at max now that my belly is full of pudding. Well, let's just jump in immediately. I just received a call information from the place where the record Ashikusa may be located. We've used up a lot of the previous fight, so I'd be great for some restock my supply. Furthermore, we can surmise that there is a large supply of Shikusa in this location. They might be able to execute our plan. Indeed, as long as we have the necessary share crystal, our preparation will be complete. Which means we can finally... Hey, so what's this plan you guys are talking about? It would be nice if you let me in and let me get into this stuff so we can understand. Alright, my bad. To explain it simply, it's a plan to defeat that Colossus you already seen. Was that you have a way to defeat that giant thing? After repeating battle with it, I came to realize that it's weak to share energy. However, because of its size, even if you strike it with a share crystal on a single point, it has a little effect. This is why we're attempting to contain it by creating a, a, a special barrier that uses a huge amount of share crystal. Holy moly, that's a pretty crazy plan. With that, even a giant would be collaborate yep that's the idea anyway let's hurry and get to, the, to those crystal oh okay so we're going to so that's the next area let's try going here Some of us are out time for the day, so this part of the video, we're going to hit another next destination, Jingo Sakura Park. And we're going to the next part of the video. So, I'm out of time, so this is Shadow Fang, signing out. Goodbye.